Welcome to the Girl Scouts of Greater Chicago in Northwest Indiana Digital Cookie Girl Delivered Orders. Fulfilling Digital Cookie Girl Delivered Orders Beyond the Initial Order Period. Now, perhaps your Girl Scouts are still receiving cookie orders via their Digital Cookie website. And maybe you're asking yourself, well, how do I fulfill those orders that have come in after the initial order period? The steps to do so are super simple. If you're a parent, be sure to approve orders that have come in on your Girl Scouts digital cookie website. You'll then want to communicate with the troop leader that you have received additional orders and together devise a plan to obtain the inventory to fulfill those orders and make sure that your Girl Scout delivers those cookies to their customer. As a troop leader, you'll want to communicate a plan with parents, letting them know your plans should they have additional digital cookie girl delivered orders. You'll also want to refer to the Girl Delivery Varieties Only by Girl Report in eBuddy. Be sure to obtain inventory to fulfill those orders and distribute the cookies associated with those orders to the appropriate Girl Scout. The final step is that you'll want to make sure that you allocate the cookies to the Girl Scout. So speaking of cookies, let's talk about cookie inventory. You can look to the extra packages remaining from your troop's initial order. Use those to fulfill some of those post initial order digital cookie orders that your Girl Scouts have received. Consider submitting a transaction to pick up cookies from the Gathering Place cookie cover. You can even conduct a cookie exchange with the troop within your service unit. I'm sure that they have extra cookies that you could use to fulfill some of those cookie orders that are coming in for your troop. So let's go through a quick demo and I'll show you how it all works. In eBuddy, the troop leader can click on the reports tab. There they will see a list of amazing reports that they can use. But for today's example, we're going to focus on the DOC reports and specifically the Girl Delivery Varieties Only by Girl report. If we click on the purple button next to that report, it will then download an Excel document. Let's open up the document. And once successful, you'll notice that there are three tabs at the bottom of that Excel document. We're going to focus on the Order Detail tab. This report contains information related to all of your Girl Scouts digital cookie, girl delivered, or rather in-person orders, and it's broken down by variety. There are a couple of areas that we'll focus on for today. The I.O. added column indicates whether or not that order was a part of your troop's initial order. If there's a yes in the cell, that means that that order was delivered with your troop's initial order. If there is a no in that cell, that indicates that that order was received after the initial order period. You'll notice associated with that order is the order number as well as the date that that order took place. For this example, it was January 27th of 2022. Angelie's customer ordered two packages of Adventurefuls, two packages of Tagalongs, and two packages of Thin Mints for a total of six packages. Make note of that information that was shared because we're going to use it in eBuddy. Once you're back in eBuddy, you'll want to click on the Girl Orders tab. The first thing I want to share with you is the number of inventory this troop has. This could by chance be 
from the extras that they've received as part of their initial order. As a reminder, that order that we needed to fulfill for Anjali contained two adventurefuls, two tagalongs, and two thin mints. Based on the extra numbers that are down below, it seems like we have more than enough inventory to fulfill that order. So let's go ahead and give Anjali credit for that order that was received. You'll notice that she currently has a balance of a negative $30. Let's go ahead and add a transaction. And in this first field, you can enter in any comment that you like. Maybe it's the order number or whatever it is that makes sense to you. You'll then enter in the number based on the variety of cookies that you are providing to Angelie to fulfill that order. Remember, that was two adventurefuls, two tagalongs, and two thin mints, six packages total. You don't need to enter in the amount that's due. eBuddy will calculate that for you, but you can go ahead and click on OK. You'll notice that that order is $30. But hopefully you also notice that the balance that is now due for Anjali is zero. So she's zeroed out at this point. You'll go ahead and click on save. And then you may want to refer back to your summary page. There you'll notice that you've depleted your cookie inventory by six packages. Now, what if you don't have enough cookies to fulfill that order? What should you do? You can go ahead and place an order to obtain additional cookies from the cupboard. You'll click on the Transactions tab and you'll add a transaction. It is here that you will select the cookie cupboard that you are interested in picking up your cookie inventory from. As a reminder, Packages can only be obtained from a gathering place cookie cupboard. So in this example, we're going to choose the Chicago cupboard. We'll indicate the day that we want to pick up those cookies. So let's just say it's the first day that the cookie cupboard opens, which is February 7th. You'll indicate the time that you're interested in picking up that cookie order. Next, you'll enter in the number of cases or packages that you would like to pick up. So maybe in this case, I only wanna pick up cookies associated with Angelie's order. Please note that if any field is grayed out, that means that that cookie variety is not available at that cookie cupboard at that time. But be sure to check back often because the cookie covers do receive inventory weekly. So if I needed, for example, only two packages of thin mints, um, excuse me, of tagalongs, I would go ahead and enter in the number of packages I needed. If there was anything I needed to add to my contact information, I could do that because maybe I'm not the person picking up my order. So maybe I will indicate someone else is picking up the order. Once I've completed that, I would go ahead and click on OK. And then I would click Save. What would then happen is that I would then have, if I go back to my Girl Order tab, two additional packages of cookies in my inventory available for me to allocate to my Girl Scout. And finally, maybe you want to conduct a cookie exchange with a sister Girl Scout within your service unit. You'll simply click on the Cookie Exchange tab. 
be sure to read the instructions as to how to conduct a cookie exchange. If you have cookies in your troop that you're looking to exchange with a fellow sister troop, you'll enter in the number of packages per variety that are available for you to exchange. Be sure to update the packages to exchange option. Now, if there are cookies that you're, you are looking for uh, amongst the sister troops within your, your service unit, be sure to take a look at the variety that is of interest and you will see which troops have an offering at this time. If there are cookies that are available by a sister troop, be sure to reach out to that troop leader. So as a reminder, parents, be sure to approve orders that have come in on your Girl Scouts digital cookie website. Make sure that you communicate that you have received additional orders with the troop leader and together devise a plan to ensure that you receive inventory to fulfill those orders and that your Girl Scout can deliver those orders to her customers. Troop leaders, communicate a plan with parents as to how your troop plans to manage additional digital cookie orders that have come in on the Girl Scouts websites. Don't forget, you can always refer to the Girl Delivery Varieties Only by Girl Report. It's super helpful. And make sure that you obtain the inventory to fulfill those orders and distribute the cookies to the Girl Scout. But most importantly, be sure to allocate the cookies to the Girl Scout. She's worked very hard to obtain those orders from her customer. Now, if you have any questions about the information that we've shared today, feel free to reach out to the product program team. You can email us at productprogram at girlscoutsgcnwi.org or give us a call at 855-ILOVE-GS, extension 6722. That's 855-456-8347, extension 6722. And on behalf of Girl Scouts of Greater Chicago and Northwest Indiana, we thank you for everything that you do to support our Girl Scouts.